Like, if they was, like, big, like, they, like, small, so it was, like, cute. But they were, like, big, and they, like, stand, like, they was kangaroo size. If they was, like, kangaroo size, and they was standing outside your door like this, or just, you just see one standing in, like, the wild, but you're not thinking is that adorable. Yo! <laughs> I don't know what that was. I have no idea what that was. But my guy, SJ, we got a lot coming for you, my boy. A lot of requests coming from the one and only SJ, okay? So today we're going to be um reacting to the, the species most closely related to cats. Now it's from Textbook Travels. Uh, like I said, my boy SJ put me on this channel. I watched all, well, I think it was called what, All 40 Species of like Big Cats. So I kind of wanted to watch this till I feel like it'll be kind of the same. I just wanted to see what, what it looked interesting. Like, which species is kind of like related to these cats, you know? So today we are about to figure out which uh, species are most related to these things. So if you're new, like, comment, subscribe. If you're not new, you just keep coming back. Subscribe, bro. What are you doing? And we're going to hop straight into this. No talking at all. Wait, why is it Relatives to our furry... Right, Lynxes, right. lions, and cheetahs are the closest <laughs> relatives to our furry companions the domesticated cat. Huh. Outside of this family, there are roughly 90 additional species that make up Phalliformia, a suborder of cat-like carnivorans, which includes mongooses, civets, and four species of hyena. In this guide, we'll take a quick look at the six families most closely related to cats, their most interesting species, and where they're located. Let's dive in. Mongoose. Arguably, I always think of the bike. The most visually similar species to a cat. I, I always wanted fossil, a mongoose bike. Which weighs roughly the same as an ocelot at between 7 to 12 kilograms. Fossa. These cat like creatures say an ocelot lie. at between 7 to 12 kilograms. It kind of look like a cat. Like, it really do. It kind of look like a cat. I could see the resemblance. I could really see it. These cat like creatures have large rounded ears and long vibrasi, more commonly known as whiskers. Their tails are quite yeah, long. Yeah, I'm about to say their tail is. These I, like, I was like, damn, that tail is long as hell. Look like a snake. What the? Cat-like creatures have large, rounded ears and long vibrasi, more commonly known as whiskers. What their does that tail, tail help out long, with? Measuring the same length as their body at up to 80 centimeters. That is crazy. Although these animals that are part tail of gotta help them do something. their young are called pups. Two to four pups are born after a gestation period yeah, of around gotta help three months do and don't reach full size until around four years old. Kinda, they live in the forested areas time. of Madagascar, where they are the largest species of carnivore, preying on lemurs, other small mammals, Damn, look at birds, his tongue. reptiles, amphibians, and insects. Part of the same subfamily, the Malagasy civet so is one of the closest relatives to the fossa. They are significantly smaller, weighing no more than two kilograms, and are quite unique, exhibiting a thick, bushy tail, which is thought to be used to store fat for the winter and can weigh up to 25% of their body weight. Both of these animals are contained within Euplerin. Okay, so we got hyenas, cats, mongoose, two different types of mongoose, two different species. Um. I will try to attempt these other three names, but I'm going to butcher the hell out of them. So we're just going to continue. One of the two subfamilies within Eupleridae, whose members are known collectively Eupleridae. as Malagasy mongooses or Malagasy carnivores. The other subfamily, Galadinae, contains six species, including the narrow-striped mongoose, which are found in the dry deciduous forests of western Madagascar, and the ring-tailed mongoose or ring-tailed vonsera, these animals have a rich red coat and striped tail cool. and are quite similar in appearance to a weasel. So much so that their genus, Galadea, comes from the Greek word gale, meaning weasel. They have webbed feet and are known to be adept at both swimming and climbing and use these skills to hunt freshwater aquatic prey, many smaller terrestrial animals, birds and eggs. At 80 centimeters in length, the Indian grey mongoose is roughly the same size as a small domesticated cat, but with their slender bodies and active lifestyle, tend to weigh a little less. Lucid chart well, makes intelligent diagramming easy and helps your so best long. ideas become real. 
I forgot what it was Start like because my other or get started. Because my other templates. accounts, no, nah, like my main shape account I be on doesn't have ads, bro. In black, speckled fur, in addition to their piercing eyes and an often bright red nose, with a short gestation period of 60 to 65 days, females can have two to three litters per year, usually containing two to four young. The Indian grey mongoose is found mostly in grassland, both tropical and temperate, as well as agricultural areas with their range extending throughout most of India, a large portion of Pakistan, and as far west as the Arabian Peninsula. They are part of the Urva genus, which contains a total of nine species commonly referred to as the Asian mongooses. The crab-eating mongoose is visually very similar, but sports a much lighter tail and stripes that start just below the ear and extend onto their shoulders. They hunt on the banks of streams and other areas with water and prey not only on crabs, but fish, birds, and many other small animals such as frogs and insects. They have a large range found throughout southern China and much of Southeast Asia. Found over 5,000 miles across the Indian Ocean, lives the most well-known of all mongooses, meerkat. the meerkat, whose range extends across the southern tip of Africa. These cheery fellows are burrowing specialists who are famous for the upright posture that they take outside of their burrows I while forgot, looking how out did I learn about meerkats? I, I they are commonly found in drier areas such as desert or tropical grassland, known in Africa as the savanna. They are quite small, weighing no more than around 700 grams, but what they lack in size, lion. they more than make up for in number. Meerkats are highly social, living in large packs that are usually made up of three familial groups, each containing a mating pair and their offspring. At 11 weeks, they have a slightly longer gestation period to the Indian grey mongoose, but also give birth to around three young and can have oh, up the to three litters per just year. Look, like, hold on. Like, if they was, like, big, like, they like, small, so it's, like, cute, but they were, like, big. And they like stand like they was kangaroo size. If they was like kangaroo size and they was standing outside your door like this, or just you just see one standing in like the wild, bro, you're not thinking is that adorable? Like it, the, the, no, you're not calling this thing adorable. Give birth to around three young, and can have up yeah, to three litters per like, year. What up? In total, there are more than thirty-five species contained within her pestidae, which we'll dive into in a future video including the yellow mongoose and the banded mongoose. All Why of these animals are closely system? related to the, the Malagasy species, mongooses right? previously discussed, and this entire group is one divergence removed from a very different family, which contains just four species. The hyenas. The spotted hyena is one of the quintessential African animals. They are much larger than any animal previously discussed, weighing between 45 to 80 kilograms and exhibit sexual dimorphism. Females weigh roughly 6.5 kilograms more than males and are also known to be more aggressive. Groups of spotted hyenas are called clans. They are dominated by the females and are matrilinear, meaning that the hierarchy and lineage of the clan can be traced through its female members. With males leaving the clan, I still can't puberty. get over that one video I seen. Gestation is usually it was like a lion fighting off After three hyenas. Uh, it, was, it was like average 30, but it was young, like who are it was a bunch of hyenas on black. one male, female lion. As cubs she was age, just fighting back. Their black like, fur quickly hell? disperses into the darker spots these animals then back are known up for. Came. While and hyenas, hyenas in general have a reputation for being scavengers, this is not the case for the spotted variety, with direct kills making up to 70% of this species' diet. These animals are found throughout much of sub-Saharan Africa, with their range overlapping slightly with that of the brown hyena, who are found on the southern tip of Africa and are part of the same subfamily, hyenae. Hmm. Also known as the strand wolf, these animals are smaller than their spotted cousins, weighing between 34 to 72 kilograms. Although unique, they are not too dissimilar in appearance to the spotted hyena. They exhibit the same elongated forelimbs and large head with pointy ears. Their distinguishing feature is that the long brown on. hair on their back, thing which is can nowhere reach 30 near centimeters in length it honestly, and turns lighter in it, color it, towards its the fur is kind of pissing me off. Brown like hyenas it. are highly opportunistic and will scavenge carrion in addition to hunting smaller mammals and birds. 
The remaining and smallest member of the hyena nay subfamily, the striped hyena, weighs crazy, between 25 beautiful. to 45 that coat kilograms, is hard. with males being slightly larger like than the females. They are generally thought of as solitary and scavenge on their own, but recent research has shown that they congregate in groups of up to seven where food and water is plentiful. They have a surprisingly large range, being found as far east as Pakistan and India, through the Middle East and into Northern and East Africa, where their range into- Do America have any like exotic animals? We have an American alligator. We have bald eagles, bison, polar bears, manatee, moose. Okay, we all know about alligators because of fucking Georgia and Florida and all of them. Bald eagle, bison, polar bear. No, I was just thinking, like, bro, name, like, name one real exotic animal that is, like, originated from North America. Like, I don't think there is one for real. I really don't. The sex with the smallest and most distant hyena, the Ardwolf, who are found in East and Southern Africa. I think the most exotic These animal we got is probably a similar size a, to a, a fucking bald eagle, polar bear, or an elk. I, I don't know. Like they are also known as the termite-eating hyena. Not a lot of things are from here. Types of termites making up their entire or diet. Live. Due to this consumption, they Mountain play an lion, important role in the ecosystems in which they abide limiting the spread of termite colonies and the wood damage that they cause. If you were to argue that one animal looked more similar to cats in the fossa, it would likely be the common gennet. They are part of Viveridae, like a house cat. whose members are split into two subfamilies containing gennets oh and civets. The common gennet is one of the smallest animals on this list, weighing just one to three kilograms. Like many cats, they are solitary, nocturnal, and excellent climbers, hunting small mammals, reptiles, and birds, along with a selection of insects. With their arboreal skills, these animals favor forests and are also found in grassland. This species is generally found in Africa, but has been introduced to Europe, with its population extending as far north as France. Found at the southern end of this range in sub-Saharan Africa is the African civet, not too dissimilar visually, but significantly larger. These animals are around the same size as an aardwolf at 12 to 15 kilograms. They have a short mane running along the spine, which amongst other reasons is used to make themselves look larger when threatened. They are easily distinguished by the solid black mask around their eyes and muzzle, along with a unique fur pattern exhibiting large spots on the back half of its body. Gestation is around 65 days, and litters usually average between two to three young. The African civet is one of six civets found in the Viveridae subfamily. There are two other subfamilies within Viveridae that between them contain 11 species of palm oh, civets. I've seen like a... Uh, the Asian palm civet is... I remember one time I seen a post on, on online. I think it was like, it was Facebook. Bro, it was like, it was saying how PS4 controls it. I don't know, like, it was PS3 or PS4 controls like dog noses. I was like, Found uh, throughout Southeast Asia I just looked and at that thing nose, and I'm like, uh, These Viverids are a little larger than the common gennet, ranging between 1.3 to 5 kilograms in weight. They are excellent climbers and are found mostly in forested areas, both temperate and tropical. They are thought of as frugivores, with fruit making up the majority of their diet, and are also coffee bean connoisseurs, choosing to consume only the ripest and most palatable coffee beans, which once passed are used in a fascinating process to create coffee. Bam. The last species of palm civet that we'll discuss is from a completely separate family, Nandinidae, which is the Nandinidae. most basal of all Bro, families I within California. All these names. Are roughly the hey, same if I was a size, teacher and I had to give roll call, <laughs> are quite similar to their Asian counterparts. Can never be a substitute. But do not exhibit the dark mask around their face. It's actually Alejandra. Last, but most certainly not least, are two species of Asiatic <laughs> linsang, who are the closest relatives to the Felidae family, I'll containing like all extant wild cats. Day. There are two species the banded linsang and the spotted linsang, both of whom are found in South and Southeast Asia on the western side of the Wallace line, which you can learn about more in this video 
covering all eight biogeographical realms, their animals, and their geography. Great video. Random thought. Would you rather fight an ape or a gorilla? Okay, no, no, no. One gorilla versus, like, 20 apes. Who are you going with? I feel like one ape versus one gorilla. Bro, what matches a gorilla? It's a cat. Honestly, I thought hyenas were more closer to dogs. Apparently, that's not the case. We learn something new every day. Subscribe for more.